This is Duke University. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States, accompanied by Head Coach Mike Krzyzewski, President Richard Broadhead, Dr. Kevin White, and Mr. David Rubenstein. Thank you. Everybody please have a seat, have a seat. Welcome to the White House, everybody. Hope you all had a good Labor Day. Let's give it up for the national champion, Duke Blue Devils. <laughs> we thought about inviting the Cameron Crazies here, but I didn't want a blue plaint paint smudging my walls, so <laughs> we weren't sure if the risers could take it, if they were jumping up and down. Uh, so you'll just have to shout and scream from your seats. Uh, we've got some big Duke fans here today, including some members of Congress, uh, our Transportation Secretary and Native North Carolina, Anthony Fox. Um, <laughs> I'd like to recognize the chairman of Duke's Board of Trustees, David Rubenstein, who's here. Duke President Richard Broadhead is here. Athletic Director Kevin White is here. And an up-and-coming coach named Mike Krzyzewski. I think he has a lot of potential. <laughs> Although he, he does look the same, have you noticed? <laughs> There's like that whole Dorian Gray mirror thing going on <laughs> somewhere. Um, true to Coach K's Army roots, we've also got Secretary of the Army John McHugh is here. Where's John? Right here. And our new Chief of Staff of the Army, General Mark Milley, is here as well. So it's good to see the Blue Devils again. Uh, this is the second time that I've hosted them here at the White House. Uh, it is. My old, uh, my old body man, Reggie Love, uh, played for Coach K. Uh, helped me win a lot of pickup games. And, uh, and then uh, there's uh, Derek Rhodes. Uh, where's Derek? Derek uh, was an intern here last summer. Uh, before being head manager for the championship run, so a, a little White House magic rubbed off on this team, uh, I'm just saying. And I, and I can relate to this program. Does well in the classroom, won twice in the past four years. <laughs> know what it's like for people to oppose you no matter what you try to do. 
I flip on ESPN and I see a documentary about how people still hate Christian Leitner, <laughs> a guy who played for Duke 23 years ago, I realize, well, maybe I don't have it so bad. <laughs> or I think this is going to be a long 23 years. <laughs> um, but here's the thing. Uh, if folks didn't like this year's Blue Devils, they were just being haters. Because, uh, or they lived in Chapel Hill. That's possible <laughs> as well. Uh, because these guys were fun. They, they ran off 14 straight wins to start the season. Uh, but by tournament time, they were down to just eight scholarship players, uh, four freshmen, one senior. Uh, they had uh, a soft-spoken All-American in the middle, uh, uh, Jalil uh, Okafor from uh, the Chicago area, I might just add, uh, whose size and footwork uh, bent defenses in a way that uh, people hadn't seen in a very long time. Uh, there was the Final Four's most outstanding player, Tyus Jones, or Tyus Stones. There was uh, Justice Winslow flying all over the place, <laughs> dominating some of the games uh, in the tournament. Uh, Quinn Cook provided senior leadership, setting a school all-time assist to turnover record. Uh, and then there was Grayson Allen, who just went crazy. <laughs> who clearly didn't know any better and just said, well, I'm going to score uh, eight straight points at the end of a game. Um, and, and in that championship game against Wisconsin, uh, the four freshmen scored every point in the second half. Uh, the Blue Devils shut down the most efficient offense in the country when they needed to, and that lockdown defense, which, let's face it, had not been uh, evident in every game during the season, <laughs> uh, was the key to uh, Duke's fifth title run. Uh, and Coach K described this year's championship as the best moment of his coaching career. And with five career championships, second to only uh, the legendary John Wooden, uh, that's saying something. Uh, last season, Coach K became the first Division I men's college coach to win 1,000 games. Uh, and somehow he did it without ever saying a bad word to a referee. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Only what they deserve. <laughs> Only what they deserve. <laughs> That's what I say about <laughs> some of my opponents. <clears throat> but everybody knows this program's not just about winning on the hardwood. Uh, five players made the all-conference academic squad this year. Tyus, Justice, Grayson, uh, Emil Jefferson, and Marshall Plumley. Uh, that is worth applause. <laughs> Marshall also spent much of uh, this summer in leadership training at Fort Knox as he works to become a commissioned officer in the U.S. Army. So. I was saying to Marshall, though, I, I feel bad for his parents trying to pay those grocery bills. <laughs> when you got like three folks seven feet, you know, that, you know they're eating a lot. That's a big grocery bill. Um, this team also visited uh, Durham Elementary Schools for the Read with the Blue Devils campaign. Uh, Coach K co uh, authored uh, an op-ed on the importance of early childhood education. Uh, players volunteered as mentors at the Emily Krzyzewski Center, which is named for the coach's mother and aims to break the cycle of poverty uh, through out-of-school programs that help young people reach college. So this is the kind of program that we hope uh, for at any institution of higher learning. Uh, they represent their university well on and off the court. Uh, and that's why uh, their fans uh, are so passionate. Uh, that's why sometimes there are going to be some haters. Uh, but uh, they deserve uh, every accolade. Uh, they've got a, a great leader uh, in Coach K. Uh, and it's an outstanding university, an outstanding program. Uh, and they deserve uh, our hearty congratulations. Very proud of you guys. Come on.
Coach. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. President, uh, thanks for opening up your home. Uh, you know, we've been to your house twice, and you've never been to our house. <laughs> so, we'll, have to, we'll have to correct that. We have to correct that in about a, a little over a year. A little over a year. And uh, we hope to do that. By the way, you know, the, the guys already ultimately respect you, but seeing you perform here, you know, once your term is over, Saturday Night Live should have a permanent host, I think. <laughs> Comedian in chief, I could do a good it, job. It, it, would be, it would be great. The, uh, uh, the cool thing about our group was that uh, they were fun. And even the energy that, when I walk into a room, I always like, is it a locker room? that needs to be picked up or you know, are you already picked up and you guys are already up. And, but that's what these guys did for me and my staff the entire year. And uh, I just want to tell them publicly you know, that we love them and uh, it was amazing. And thanks for sharing that year with me and the guys coming back, if, if you could do that again, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> You know, we, uh, we have, we've loved being here. Last night, uh, David Rubenstein made it available for us uh, to have a dinner at the National Archives. So uh, it was an unbelievable night. And in front of the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, and the Declaration of Independence, our guys were awarded their championship rings last night. So that was a cool, That's great. A cool night. They're pretty big, by the they way. Are. It's just, uh, <laughs> it's not bad. Show it, show it again. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, I'm from Chicago. A little bit of bling is not, <laughs> it's, it's not bad. But you know, uh, the last 24 hours to be in front of, in, in that great building, in front of, uh, those documents and realizing the great men that started this country, but also then to come here and be in your house. And on behalf of our Duke community, we want to thank you for serving our country over these last two terms. You've been uh, an amazing leader for our country, and it's not just you, but your family and the sacrifices. So thank you very much for your service. visit, uh, and you won't have to do this when you visit our house, but usually when you visit someone's house, you bring a gift. So we brought a few gifts, and I want to explain them. They're going to have Emil and uh, Quinn, our, our co-captains, give them, but we have a jersey. I we, need a jersey. We have a ball. Got a ball. All right. And we have, I know you... My bracket again? No, bracket. no. We... <laughs> he did this to me last time. No, no. <laughs> But any time you take a test yes. and you put your answers there, you, you should always want the approved solution. <laughs> so uh, that... This is the second time. Right. <laughs> but the other thing is not material. It's, I know you can't do it while you're president, but uh, uh, after you're through, uh, we would like to scholarship you to our fantasy camp. <laughs> we run a fantasy camp. Reggie said you can play, and we'll pound the ball a little bit. That's what he said. Uh, but uh, we, for 35 guys, 35 and older, and uh, I'll dominate. <laughs> He's not unlike the other 80 guys who come, and then they find out the truth. But. Uh, uh, anyway, you have a scholarship. Thank you. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm honored. Yeah, but uh, again, thank you for inviting us for uh, this very, very special day. And if Quinn and 
uh, Emil, you guys come down. If you guys would come in and present that, and I'll come, yeah, go get. It. Thank you, man. You can leave the bracket. That that was a that's joke. Good, that's a good looking basketball. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank come on you. in and take a picture. Uh, you, you here, Emil. Let, let, let's uh, let's strike the the podium and we'll get yeah. good pictures in here. Come on, guys. <laughs> Thank you.